In the summer and fall of 2012, a video production team from Helena Civic Television teamed up with the Montana Historical Society to launch a joint venture that would bring small rural museums across the state into the living rooms of Montana residents. That's what this TV series is about. We see the, the Montana Heritage Tour as an opportunity to showcase the good work that's going on in communities all over the state of Montana, in the heritage centers, in the museums, in the cultural arts centers, um, and take the word out around Montana of the good work that's being done in the communities, and at the same time advance the mission of the Montana Historical Society. We went all over the place looking at special collections, talking with special people, and thinking out loud about how truly special Montana's historical legacies really are. Of course we couldn't go everywhere and had to pick and choose from the vast array of cultural facilities in Montana's cities and towns. That was hard, but meeting and talking with the folks who managed the 18 odd places we did visit was a joy. They made it easy. Each museum in Montana is unique, and so are the individuals who provide staff services, serve on boards of directors, and provide other types of support. Professionals and volunteers alike are the heart and soul of these establishments. They know how to bring the stuff of history to life in the here and now. An ice cube tray looking mold dried in the sun and then set into place using mud for mortar. I think each museum in the state has its own role. Obviously, the Historical Society tries to tell the big picture of Montana history. That's a big story. There's when you're doing an exhibit that tries to tell everything in just a, a short space. Obviously, there's a lot of detail you have to leave out. Um, some of the local museums have, they don't, their story isn't as broad, but they're able to tell a story that's much deeper. The specifics of that area, they have artifacts that relate to the people um, in that region that are very meaningful, the people that the stories they tell are, are known to the, the viewers who come in. So it's a, a local connection that's very important. We discovered many locally significant stories and features wherever we went, but there was also an emergent pattern of recurrent themes and storylines. In almost every small museum, there are exhibits about homesteading, ranching, Indians, veterans, and railroads. In many places, there are dinosaur bones and wildlife displays and publicly accessible genealogy records. In general, Montana's museums are about people coming here to settle or going out into the world and then coming back again. They are about people bringing things home to preserve them in their proper place to show to children, grandchildren, and friends of the family. One thing for sure that kept happening over and over again was sort of mysterious, bordering on mystical. I'm not talking about encounters with ghosts, although there are a few out there, we're told. It's more mundane, but still wonderful. Material objects are laden with the experiences of individuals and families, and they emanate memories that are almost palpable. You can look at a photograph, a set of dishes, a military uniform, a piece of farm equipment, a recreated schoolroom, and literally feel something not only human but personal. Montana's small museums are collection depots for tangible things and convivial spaces where different generations gather to remember things together. This truly was a path of discovery for the TV crew. Some of us were born in Montana, and some of us, while born in other states, have nevertheless spent decades living and working in the Treasure State. But still, few of us were at all familiar with the diversity of relatively small museums scattered across 56 counties. It's so easy to make a big mistake and just drive right on by those ubiquitous signs emblazoned with the word, Museum. The Montana Heritage Tour is a short series of programs aimed at underscoring that error. You've got to stop, look, and listen to Montana's history. Time and time again, lo and behold, you're going to find out that yes indeed, you're in it. <laughs>